Hello and welcome back here to the Token Venture Capital TV. I'm Javier, I will be your host for today. And like every session, we bring you the innovation, technology, and solutions you want to hear about. And the best of all, it's represented by the CEOs or the founders of the project. And you can always make questions to them or even make your comments. You're going to see there in the chat box that you will be able to leave any type of questions you have. And if it's relevant, we're going to address it. So it's a perfect opportunity to get to know the project directly from the co-founders or the CEOs. But before we move on to the interview, just as a reminder, you can see our previous shows and content by visiting atalkin.com slash vctv slash shows. Also follow us on our socials like Facebook and Twitter. If you're watching us on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button and you'll always be informed of great content opportunities and even giveaways. One last reminder, anything mentioned here is not any type of financial advice. Please do your research before making any decision. It's your choices and your responsibility. And with that said, we have a very special show today. And I would like to introduce Jay, representing CSR Plastic Credit. Welcome, Jay. How are you? Great. Thank you very much, Javier. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, it's a very interesting project and really relevant for today's environment, what you're doing. So I would like a little bit of you can introduce us to yourself, maybe mention something about the team. And where is this idea coming from? Well, first of all, thank you for thank you for asking. Um, as we all know, the global plastic waste crisis is really spiraling, spiraling out of control right now. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the amount of plastic waste pollution that is currently destroying our planet is, is just massive. And something needs to be done for this plastic pollution problem. And that is exactly what we are addressing here. Uh, our company uh, has a uh, operational production facility here in the beautiful country of Thailand, where we are on a day-to-day -day basis converting your typical household plastic waste products into something called an advanced bio oil and i would love to talk about that one uh, a little bit more but what we are what we as a team uh, have been involved with before we have a, a long background in real estate development uh, it and finance uh, we've been developing real estate here in thailand for now more than 15 years and also we got involved uh, with the uh, uh, cryptocurrencies and generally digital assets uh, approximately uh, 10 years ago. So we've been involved uh, for quite some time on uh, on both of these different areas. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for that introduction. Now, I do believe you have a presentation for us that you might want to share that contains a little bit about Who's the company behind it? Maybe a little bit of your expertise in this. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Uh, to our viewers also, uh, please re remember, you can always learn more, more about the project by visiting the website, which you can see down below on the screen in the banner. It's csrnow.com. And to know more about who is the project behind it and why they have the relevant experience, please visit course, uh, courseairnow.com. Thank you. Thanks to you, Jay. Sorry for that. Great. Uh, are you able to see my screen at the moment? Now we are. Okay, excellent. So if that's okay for you, Javier, I'd like to just give a quick presentation to give the bigger picture of the company and the project and what we are generally doing. We so would love I'll, to hear that. I'll jump into my slides over here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. So, so as a company, uh, Corsair Group, uh, we uh, got started in 2020. Uh, we have our global head office located here in Bangkok and our European head office located in the Netherlands. Altogether, the company today employs approximately 100 people. Are you seeing my slides changing? It's all working well? Yes, we do. It's working very well. Okay, great. Okay. Now, as we all know, uh, plastic waste is a global problem. And without going too much into the small details, I would like to use an example that was really an eye-opener for me, uh, and, and that would be the following. 
if we just look at the amount of plastic waste or generally the amount of new plastic that is being produced in one year alone, that amount would be more in weight than the entire combined weight of every man, woman and child on the planet. So let me repeat that again. In one year, we are producing more new plastic than the entire combined weight of the humanity. All right. And that's on a yearly basis. In one year. Wow. And unfortunately, as of today, less than 10% of all of this new plastic ever gets recycled. Most of it will end up into the landfills, uh, into the uh, oceans, or it's getting burned. And that is a major problem. Here in Thailand alone, the Thailand people, about 70 million people, generate approximately 2 billion kilos of plastic waste each year. And most of this plastic waste ends up into the landfill scattered all over the country. Now, especially now during the COVID situation, we've seen that because all of the lockdowns, home deliveries, people are getting everything delivered home, packed in plastic uh, wrapping and boxes, as well as all the face masks and protection gear, we've seen a huge increase in plastic waste globally during the times of COVID. Here in Bangkok alone, they estimate that the amount of plastic waste has increased by more than 60% now during the COVID situation. I thought it would have so, been the opposite. That's interesting. Right, but it makes sense because if you think about all the home deliveries and everything, I mean, yeah, it's massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all these masks and everything, they all contain plastic. Yeah. So what we can say is that an average human being today generates approximately 50 kilos of plastic waste per year, which basically means that over the course of your lifetime, you will generate between 4,000 to 5,000 kilos of plastic waste. That's what all of us are responsible and contributing into this problem. Mm. Now, we have a solution for this problem. And we started our operations here in Thailand in August 2020, when we established our first chemical recycling plastic waste processing facility. And what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is we take your typical host household plastic waste, like plastic bags, wrapping materials, packaging products, all this stuff that people throw away into the garbage every day. We take those plastic products into our facility and we process them by using a a process called pyrolysis, whereby applying heat to the plastic, we are able to convert the plastic into a liquid form. So basically what happens is that all of these plastic products that we are dealing and using every day, mm -hmm. they are all made from crude oil coming from the ground. Mm -hmm. And what we are simply doing is we are converting the plastic from its current state back into the form of oil which is internationally referred as advanced bio oil. So if I understood correctly, then you, you will get all that plastic, you would melt it, right? It's liquid. Correct. And then, okay. And then what do you do with the, with the liquid? So once we have the oil, we can use that oil now as a raw material for producing either more environmentally friendlier fuels, such mm -hmm. as diesel, gasoline, or kerosene jet fuel. Or what is our main focus as a company is to use that plastic and use that oil as a raw material for the manufacturing of new plastic products. Mm -hmm. So in this way, what we are doing is we are supplying our oil to the petrochemical industry, the plastic manufacturing industry, which can then use the oil as a raw material to make new plastic products. And by doing that, we eliminate the need for new oil to be brought again inside the ground to the surface, as we can use the already existing plastic waste as a raw material 
for manufacturing all the new plastic products that we need as a humanity. So in the end of the day, what's happening here is that we are developing a solution in exactly in the same way like we've been recycling glass, metal, and paper already for, for decades, where the old plastic bag becomes oil, and then that oil is used to make a new plastic bag. That is, okay. in a nutshell, the most simplest way of explaining our day-to-day -day operation. Uh, I have several questions. <laughs> it's Please. fascinating. Uh, several questions. Um, and yes, we do have a set of questions later on, but these are Great. questions I would just like to raise up right now that are that is it's fresh. Please. First thing is this. Uh, I have not heard about this before. Is this proprietary right. technology that you have come up with, with something that a technology that has been going on for some years from somebody else? Right. So we are, as of today, one of the leading companies in the world mm -hmm. in the field of chemical recycling. Uh, we are not the only company. There are other companies operating as well. With the same technology? Um, uh, with, with the similar technologies. That's correct. Uh, we ourselves uh, use technology currently from other suppliers. So what mm -hmm. we like to do is we like to work together with the best uh, manufacturing companies of technology internationally and and then implement those into our facilities uh, we are also looking to begin manufacturing our own technology uh, which would happen during next year but as of right now we like to work with the already existing technology suppliers okay perfect we are getting already some questions so uh would you right. like me to bring in these questions right now or we we wait for the end I would say that let's let's to take them at the end as I might already be answering them during the next few minutes. Okay, perfect. So just okay, please most, go ahead. Thank you. Most importantly, what's really important here is to understand that that we operate according to all the European Union standards, which means that that this process is environmentally friendly. It mm -hmm. is also very efficient. For example, if we have a plastic bag that you would normally throw in to your garbage bin at your home, we can basically take 100 kilos of plastic like this and convert that up to 95 liters of oil, which okay. basically means that we have a conversion ratio up to 95%. Mm -hmm. In average, as there is always some contamination and, and other things involved, which we can't make oil out of, you could say that an average conversion would be approximately 75%. But if the plastic is relatively clean, uh, which we are also working to, to, to clean up in the future in different ways, uh, we can bring that conversion ratio up to 95%. So the process is really efficient. And also the process itself uses as a, a form of energy its own gases and oil to run the system. So the, the, the system is actually, aside from, from a little bit of uh, uh, electricity that we use to run some of the electric engines, it's actually very, very efficient also in terms of energy. Very good. Now, now moving forward from this, uh, I just want to share with you what we are developing right now at our Bangkok facility. So as of today, we have a total production capacity where we are able to manage approximately 200,000 kilos of plastic waste per month. And now we are continuously expanding the facility uh, altogether from the existing about 10,000 square meters to about 20,000 square meters of space, which will then within this and next year, take us to a situation where we will be able to process approximately 2 million kilos of plastic waste per month here at our Bangkok production facility. Just to give you an idea of where this expansion is currently headed. Well, that's huge. Okay. And this is actually, so the plants that you have right now, it's actually fully operational. We develop is in operation. Okay. Yeah, fully operational and being expanded as we speak. Okay. Now, aside from our operations here in Thailand, 
we are also now expanding into Europe. Uh, we have recently formed a partnership with one of the largest uh, metal manufacturing companies in the country of Slovakia, which will act as our first European locations to launch the Corsair operations. And at this facility where we have taken over an existing building at this larger compound owned by our partner, we are going to now establish the first European chemical recycling facility for Corsair. What you can see here in the pictures is what we are uh, uh, renovating this building uh, into. And we already have our first chemical recycling machine in Europe, which will be transported to this location and in the Slovakia in the coming approximately 45 days. So here you can see what we are also doing there. Aside from Slovakia, we are also currently expanding into several other European countries, and we expect to be operational in multiple countries within Europe uh, during this year and next year. Now, quickly talking about Europe and why this industry of chemical recycling and our method of attacking the plastic waste problem is so significant and so important just right now. Uh, actually, what happened is that in the beginning of 2021, the European Union created a new law where the, for the first time ever, they actually made the plastic manufacturing companies to take responsibility of the plastic waste that they generate. And the way how this was done was that the European Union now obligates plastic manufacturing companies to use a minimum of 30% recycled plastic waste as a raw material in the manufacturing of the new plastic products. And due to this new law by the European Union, we suddenly became extremely interesting and started getting calls from the largest plastic manufacturing companies all over the world. And this is exactly where we are focusing right now to supply our oil to these large scale companies. I'm also very happy to tell you today that we are just about to announce uh, during the month of April, a large scale major collaboration with one of the largest plastic manufacturing companies in the world, uh, which also happens to be one of the largest oil companies in the world. And this partnership that we are going to be announcing has been in the works for already for more than six months. And we are very excited to, to make this announcement together with them shortly, which will mean that from that moment onwards, all of our oil will then be supplied for their use and they will also join in the financing of our new production facilities globally. Now, just to finalize on this topic, uh, the global business consultancy firm McKinsey recently made a study where they believe that this industry of chemical recycling will grow from today's market, which is in the few tens of millions of dollars in revenue annually, will grow within the next eight years to become a $75 billion per year industry. The reason behind this is that the current demand for our type of oil is approximately 100 billion liters a year. That is the global demand for our product while at the same time, the entire global production as of today would be approximately 20 million liters per year. Wow, huge difference. So, so we are looking at an at, at a emerging, massive emerging market with the huge upside potential where the demand for the product, as I mentioned, is about 100 billion liters a year and the current production is about 20 million liters a year. And this is also where this huge increase on the market, uh, as stated by McKinsey, is based on. Now, 
just to coming to a sort of an end of this topic, uh, I wanted to share with you some collaborations that we have formed primarily here in Southeast Asia and Thailand. Uh, we are extremely fortunate, extremely happy and lucky to be working together with great brands and companies such as Michelin, Ford, Mazda, Lexus, Nissan, Isuzu, uh, including the largest shopping centers here in Thailand, uh, including some of the largest hotel chains here in Thailand, uh, where we work together with these companies, helping them to reduce their plastic waste footprint and also physically take care of their plastic garbage from the shopping centers, from the hotels and their businesses, which we recycle at our Bangkok production facility. Additionally to this, uh, over the last about six to eight months, we have also been featured by more than 50 different media outlets, primarily here in Thailand, including the largest uh, newspapers, some of the largest TV stations, and altogether in the last about six months, there's been more than 100 articles written and released about our company, uh, the CSR Plastic Credit, which I'm going to talk next, and generally about our mission to clean up our planet from the plastic pollution. So now, if you, Javier, if you're okay, I would like to uh, now jump into the topic of the token and talk about the CSR plastic credit. Very, okay. very, very impressive, Jay. I'm, I'm really impressed by, uh, by all the achievements, the project itself, the good Thank cause you. that it is. And uh, yes, we, I think we have a lot of questions prepared for you. I hope we can squeeze them in in this remaining 25 minutes that we're going to have. We'll be and, fine. But before that, before I jump into the questions, Jay, I would like to show to our viewers a video about CRS Great. Plastic so they can have Perfect. a better understanding. And after that video, then we can jump on the questions. Is that fine with Great. you? Great. Okay. I have, a, I, have a, I have a couple of more slides, okay. uh, but we can, do, we can do those maybe after the video, if that's okay for you. And then we'll go to questions. Is that okay, okay, perfect. Let's do that. So then perfect. let's so, look at this video. Great. Thank you. Say hello to CSR Plastic Credit. The global plastic waste crisis keeps getting worse each day, and we are all responsible for this. Every year, we as human beings produce an average of 50 kilos of plastic waste. The production of new plastic products has skyrocketed, and the total production of new plastic in the year 2020 was over 370 billion kilos. Compare that to the total combined weight of all human beings on the planet, where every man, woman, and child together weighs approximately 320 billion kilos. This means that we manufacture more new plastic in just one year than the combined weight of all humans. Many of us think that the situation has been getting better over the last few years. The truth is that the situation is just getting worse as only less than 10% of this plastic currently gets recycled. Corsair provides a solution. By using an environmentally friendly method of chemical recycling, Corsair turns the plastic waste into advanced bio oil. This oil is similar in character to crude oil and can be used as a raw material to manufacture new plastic products or can be refined into diesel, gasoline and jet fuel. What is CSR Plastic Credit? CSR Plastic Credit is a digital receipt which proves that plastic waste has been removed from the environment. Every time Corsair removes one kilo of plastic waste from our environment, 10 CSR Plastic Credits are distributed into the circulation. Do you want to be part of the pollution or the solution? Every CSR Plastic Credit is backed up by real physical results of plastic waste being removed from our environment. When you hold 10 CSR Plastic Credits, you have helped to remove one kilo of plastic waste from our environment. Congratulations! You are now helping the planet 
and, if you are a company, your awareness is rising within the global community. A recent study shows that 80% of consumers in the United States would like to buy products and services from companies that take responsibility to properly manage their plastic waste. How can people be aware of your good operations? CSR operates in an open source, most transparent and trustworthy database called a blockchain. Every CSR token and transaction is publicly recorded into the Ethereum blockchain and is available for everyone to see, providing ultimate transparency and public accountability. Reducing your plastic waste footprint and becoming plastic neutral is as easy as one, two, three. Step one, first, calculate your plastic waste footprint. Step two, then remove as much plastic waste from the environment as you create. Step three, by acquiring and retiring a matching amount of CSR plastic credits. Some of the largest companies and brands worldwide are already endorsing the global plastic credit revolution. As soon as you take the first step towards reducing your plastic waste footprint and becoming plastic neutral, you get connected with tens of thousands of dedicated members of the CSR community worldwide. This allows you to attract a new and daily growing group of customers, build dedication among your existing customers, and increase your company's brand awareness. So, how to acquire CSR plastic credits? Option 1. You can purchase CSR plastic credits from an open exchange at market price. Option 2. By becoming a CSR merchant, you can begin to receive CSR plastic credits as a partial payment method from the sales of your products and services. Option 3. You can purchase a plastic neutrality package containing CSR plastic credits directly from CSRnow.com for a special discounted price. The companies who reach the status of becoming certified plastic neutral will also be able to use the CSR label in their marketing and include the label in their product packaging. When consumers see it, they know you are committed to solving the global plastic waste crisis with them. Be the revolution. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be plastic neutral. Join us in the mission to help our planet now. CSR Plastic Credit is here. Well, very good, very impressive. A lot of information Thank to you. digest there, Thank Jay. You. But uh, really good. I really liked it. it. It gave us all the information that we needed. But please, you wanted to show us some some slides as well. Yes, just to highlight a few uh, few things from the video. Are you able to see my screen again? Yes, we are. Okay, great. So just to highlight what was already said, but to make sure that everyone has the uh, pinpointed the most important information. So CSR plastic credit, as mentioned in the video, is a digital receipt, which proves that plastic waste has been removed from the environment. And in the most simplest way, every time when we as a company remove one kilo of plastic waste from the environment, we would then distribute 10 CSR plastic credits. This ratio between one kilo and 10 CSR plastic credits will always remain the same. Now, every single CSR plastic credit is documented, operates, moves in the Ethereum blockchain, uh, which means that we provide uh, the most transparent and obviously trustworthy uh, public accountability for the, the, the plastic credit and its movements. Now, we are not the only plastic credit in the world. We are the leading plastic credit today, but there are others as well. And this general concept of plastic credit is today heavily being endorsed and supported by organizations such as the World Wildlife Fund, uh, the World Economic Forum, European Union, and even now the United Nations. And the WWF, for example, define a plastic credit as a transferable unit representing a specific quantity of plastic that has been collected and possibly recycled from the environment. 
That is exactly what the CSR plastic credit is doing. And it's very important for everybody to understand that what makes the CSR so unique is that it is in every way backed up by the real physical work of plastic waste being removed from the environment. Now, the way that this operates is very similar to how the carbon credits would operate. And if you are familiar with the carbon credits and the carbon, carbon credit trading, in the recent years, the carbon credit market has grown to become a $300 billion a year market. And as a great example of this, Tesla, the Elon Musk's company, in the year 2020, actually made more money from selling carbon credits than they made from selling the Tesla vehicles. And that's a fact if you just go and Google. Yes, it, it, is, it is true. Yes, yes, I really yeah. good. Now, and then you add a little bit of Bitcoin profits there and, you know, there you go. You can ask the question, what business is Tesla really in? Well, anyway, the plastic credit is now being endorsed by all of these different organizations and will follow the footsteps of the carbon credit. This is already being done. It's already being operated. It's pushed forward in many, many areas. And I do believe that in the next three years, what will happen, for example, in Europe is that every medium and large size company will be by law obligated to take responsibility of their carbon footprint and also of their plastic waste footprint. And that is where the plastic credits would come into play. So altogether, as we said in the video, the question is always how much plastic waste do you or do your company generate each month? And do you want to be part of the pollution or the solution? Now, what we do is we help companies and private individuals to calculate their own plastic waste footprint. If you are a private individual, that would be about 50 kilos a year or about 5,000 kilos during your entire lifetime. But if you are a company, then of course it can be whatever. Step number two is we educate our clients and our users, our community to remove as much plastic waste from the environment as they create. And the way how you do this is by acquiring and then retiring the matching amount of CSR plastic credits. So very important now again for the blockchain community is to understand that when the end user acquires, purchases the CSR plastic credit, in order for them to be able to receive the final certificate and to be officially verified on the blockchain to be the end user, the only one end user, they have to retire these tokens. In other words, burn them in order to receive that final verification and certificate. And again, this makes the CSR plastic credit a very unique project in the blockchain space where the end goal is actually to retire the token in a very similar way as it is today done in the carbon credit market. Now, if you look at the biggest polluters of plastic waste on the planet, here you would have the top 10 companies, obviously brands that we all are familiar with and we all use on our daily lives. Now, many of these companies have in the last 12 months made public statements, such as for example, companies like Nestle and Unilever, where their target is starting from this year, 2022, to remove more plastic waste from the environment than what they actually distribute to it. Uh, the combined amount of plastic waste that Nestle and Unilever together, for example, pollute the planet with is more than 2 billion kilos a year. And starting from this year, they now want to remove more plastic from the environment than what they contribute. The way how they are going to do this is simply 
by using the CSR plastic credit and potentially other credits as well. Companies like Starbucks, Pepsi, Microsoft, Nestle, Unilever are already involved globally in endorsing this global plastic credit revolution. So, in a nutshell, that is what we do. And, and I would be very happy to answer now your questions and, and maybe give a little bit indication of, of where do I see this plastic credit market to develop over the next coming years. So thank you very much for, for listening and for your interest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jay, for that. So basically, if I understood correctly, you have tokenized this plastic card uh, concept. Exactly. Okay, very good. And when you mentioned that the token will be burned, eventually that's the goal, obviously, because it, you would always like the person to acquire more tokens in this case, because that will reflect that they have uh, <clears throat> got rid of their, you could say that the, the plastic waste. Now, would Correct. that mean that in the long term, a person will not be able to hold the token? Because it has so, to be burned. Right. So basically what happens is that when you are holding an X amount of CSR plastic credits, mm -hmm. you have the choice. You have the choice. Mm -hmm. You can either retire those tokens by sending them into a specific retirement smart contract address, which okay. doesn't have any withdrawal function of it. So once they're there, they're gone forever. But obviously you have now that transaction recorded into your wallet, your verified wallet, and now you can show and we will prove that and certify you that you are the only end user that actually retired this token and therefore removed the plastic from the environment. That's your mm -hmm. option number one. The option number two you have is to obviously hold on to it. And if you feel that you would like to sell that token for someone else, now you can go and use the wonderful La Token platform where the CSR will begin trading on the 18th of April, and you can actually go and sell it for someone else. So okay. whoever, whoever then is the, the holder of it will always have the option to either retire it and receive the final certification themselves or to sell it for someone else. Like, for example, these international brands that are now entering heavily into this space to begin purchasing and acquiring plastic credits. Okay, now we understand. Thank you very much. And now I'm very happy also that you mentioned about uh, the other option, the second option, in case somebody yeah. would like to trespass it to give away their their tokens. And you mentioned that that will happen. It will be live in La Token from the 18th of April. Am I right? Correct. Okay, and if then you just allow me, please, that I would like to share that page with our viewers. I hope you can see right. my... Yes. Okay, here we are. This is the landing page in La Token, where CSR is future. If you go here, now it's obviously, it's not active and you cannot purchase because as Jay said, it will be from the 18th of April. Here you'll be able to find all the information, the project summary, the tokenomics, what is a plastic credit that Jay was explaining right. to us a minute ago, how does it work, the functionality about Course Air Group, which actually is like the company behind that proves expertise in this matter, right. the solution, uh, expansion, which is always good, and the target. So all the information you'll be able to find here in this page. Simply go to latoken.com and type in the name of the project, CSR, and you'll be able to find the information here. In case you do not have an account in Latoken, please go again to latoken.com. Just press an open account. You'll have to submit only one piece of information, and then you can have the account open. Again, as a reminder, it will be live at the end from the 18th of April. So you're still on time to do it. You still have time to join this great project. And for for what I've seen, Jay, you have a, a big amount of, uh, of followers, a very big community 
which I'm really happy for. And this community seems to come from all over the world. If you, That's correct. If you, if you can give us a breakdown, where do you think most of your community comes from geographically? Um, as of right now, I would say most of our community members are from Europe. So, so generally from the uh, UK, uh, Netherlands, Belgium, France, Italy, uh, these would be the primary locations. And then, of course, all over the world. Yeah, I, I, feel, I found uh, here also quite a few from Latin America, if, if I can, just to show yeah. a little bit. Uh, Mauricio says, good morning, greetings from Argentina. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Mauricio. Ibu, very much great. Uh, so, uh, oh, this one, Frank. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Colombia, Latin America. Very happy to have CRS in the talking. Morakoth from France. Hello from France. And of course, we have several other ones that are coming from different parts of the country, different nationalities. Other ones from France as well. Yes, yes. we are really seeing, we're really seeing a lot of, really seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of people uh, getting involved with us from from South America, from Latin America. That's uh, really really great for us. Thank you guys. No, it's uh, it's really so good to hear all this to have this positive feedback uh, from you. people like really welcoming it because as somebody mentioned here, it's something tangible. It's something that. Yes. Uh, it's tangible plus a good cause. We all realize, we all hear it all the time about how toxic in our environment and our seas are getting. But with right. this actually the solution and what better that you can mix it with the, with the uh, blockchain technology. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> and again, we have somebody else, uh, Sylvain from Tahiti, congratulating you for the solution to the pollution. So again, really, really good to have a, uh, all of these, uh, all of this community here today with us, and yes. uh, if we have time, I would like to address a couple of questions. Please, we only have please. like five minutes left. Sure. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> okay, we already saw what uh, obviously motivated you and your co-founder start the project. Uh, we have talked about the benefits of it. We've talked about also how the token gets involved in the whole ecosystem. But yes. I'd like to ask what. What can investors, I'm talking about now from the investment point of view, what can yes. investors expect when they will be investing in this specific topic and token? Right. Great. So generally what I, I'll, I'll give you the macro perspective and then we come smaller in, in the next very, very short period of time. So I, I personally see that the uh, plastic credit market will globally in the next three to five years grow to a position of 10% of what the carbon credit market is today. So that would mean that in the next coming years, the plastic credit market will grow to become a approximately $30 billion a year market. And that means that in the same way as these companies and big brands, uh, including then obviously private individuals and smaller businesses are beginning to take responsibility of their own plastic waste footprint, helping Corsair to go out there and collect the plastic from the environment and then recycle it into better usage. This will generate approximately $30 billion a year market for the entire plastic credit industry. We hope to be able to continue to be the leading credit in the world. We're not the only one by any means. There are others, but we are the leading one. And I do believe that we are the most developed and, and also therefore will become the primary choice of any company and any private individual who wants to remove their own plastic waste footprint or just to reduce it a little bit. Number two, uh, there is an already existing market price generally for plastic credits. And as you know, today we are on our second round of IEO together with LaToken where we are offering our solution as of today with a below average market price, significantly below. We are actually today uh, at around 30, 33 cents per kilo. In other words, about 3.3 .3 cents per credit. 
whereas the average market price is today already about 50 or 50 cents per kilo or 5 cents per credit, which means that any investor getting involved today with the IEO will be able to acquire Trula token, the CSR plastic credit, below market rate. We are still planning now that the official listing at La Token platform on the 18th of April will happen at around four USDT cents per credit, even still below the 50 cents or five cents per credit market value. So this is what we're offering in the immediate uh, moment. What will happen in the future, what I do believe, is that the demand for plastic credits will continue to increase. Right now, it's still voluntary, like it was together with the carbon credits in the early days as well. Today, the carbon credits are mandatory. And the same will happen. Mark my words on this. The same will happen. The plastic credits will become internationally mandatory for the companies and at some point, I believe, even for private individuals to take. At the moment, we are looking at the corporates, the big polluters, and these companies are already joining voluntarily into these programs. But soon it will also become, by law, an obligation for them to use the plastic credits to reduce their plastic waste footprint. Uh, I do believe that the uh, value of the plastic credits in general including the CSR, will continue to grow due to this massive demand. At the same time, on the other hand, there is the continuous flow of tokens out from circulation due to the retirement, which means that, number one, every single CSR plastic credit is backed up by the real physical work of plastic waste removed from the environment. Number two, there is a limited amount of those tokens and credits in circulation, while at the same time, there's a continuous flow out from the circulation through to the retirement of these credits by the end users. And that I do believe will create amazing opportunities for anyone involved right now or anyone getting involved right now, as we see this market and as we see the CSR plastic credit to become more mainstream and, and more globally used as a way for companies and private individuals to take responsibility of their plastic garbage footprint. So in the end of the day, my closing statement, I would say that I believe that CSR will become one of the most popular digital assets in the world. And on top of that, one of the most respected digital assets in the world. Because when you look at every other project and every other asset that is out there, we are actually making a change in this world. Thank you. Thank you, Jay, very <laughs> much. And uh, no, it definitely, that, I think that is the most relevant part that people now yes. can make a change. Uh, we see the company, as you mentioned, the big multinational, they will, this will be the new path that they're gonna go into. So why exactly. not ourselves and this community that very much is involved in blockchain and you managed to tokenize the plastic credit? Well, even better is like a perfect merger. So we still have a lot of more questions, Jay. Unfortunately, there's not much time, but I would like to uh, invite you once again on the Thank week, you. because that's on the 18th of April and that week whether it's the same day or a little bit before for another show, we can even ask our, our, our traders, our viewers to prepare the questions beforehand and we're going to be addressing them. And right. uh, definitely, I think it will be really interested and most important, it will help people understand why is this project so relevant. It's, it's something tangible, something to help the environment. Uh, I think we should all participate in that. And as you mentioned from the investment point of view, now is the time to act. Yes. So, Jay, once again, I would like to thank you very much for sharing with us such a valuable information. Uh, our, our viewers from uh, all over the world, thank you very much for participating with us, uh, for spending your time 
listening to what we have to say. It's been fantastic. And again, Jay, please do visit us again. Will do. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. Thank, thank you, Javier. Thank you. Thank you and your whole team. And to our viewers, well, the time to act is now. You have all the information. Please visit latoka.com. Visit the landing page of CSR and take action. Thank you for your time. See you in the next show. And until then, stay safe. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank Goodbye. you.